Hello guys, how are you? Today on the Outbox Review I bring you a, a very unusual kit. Um, I think I never done an Outbox Review of um, a review of a wood ship kit. However, today I will do it. This is the St. Elena from the Constructo company. Uh, the Constructo, which is a well-known uh, Spanish uh, company, it was uh, she was founded. It was founded in 1942. Um, it was a very it was pioneer at their time and um, still is. Okay, all her molds, her kits include laser cut uh, wood and. Um, uses very different types of exotic woods and are completed with fitting, uh, fittings in brass, cast metals, walnut, uh, boxwood, I think. Um, detailed step-by-step -step picture uh, graphic uh, instructions and uh, it's a great kit. Um, I found this one on, um, on, a, a say, on a cell that was going and this was the last one and uh, it's almost a 100 uh, euros kit I bought it I think for 40? Uh, 40 I think I'm not sure I bought it for 40 46.95 um, it's an almost 100 euros kit so hero kit so um, as you can see uh, I just had to uh, bring this one home because you may not be very uh, into 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 boats wooden boats uh, I'm not I'm just building one very slowly uh, in these three years but we all can agree that they bring a very classical and very charm uh, presence on the living room uh, on a shelf with uh, their sails unfolded, uh, it's, it's something beautiful. So, let's see what this one has inside. Uh, I've only cut it, um, the, the plastic, not, never saw what's inside, so I'm going to see it first time, like, okay. First, we have this beautiful pictographic images here the instructions which as you can see here are amazing 25 steps okay oh first of all this kit in length 45 centimeters which is 17 inches in height 35 centimeters which is 13 inches uh, height in width 14, 14 centimeters, 5, five um, inches width, um, 185 scale, 85th scale, so um, reasonable one. Kit reference 80620. Uh, brings paints and some tools included. Nice touch. And uh, okay, now. So, the instructions as I told you, and then we can open this one. We can open this one like this. I don't want to uh, ruin this kit on its first unboxing, of course. So, first, it brings the instructions here, as you can see, on a very presentable booklet with the history, with, um, as you saw, those pictures, those pictographic in instructions. Here you can read it step by step and then you can visualize it on the box. Very good. Each one in Spanish. Well, it's good for me, but uh, I believe it has also English, so two language instructions, which is very good. The name of the pieces here, 
thank God because uh, I don't know dick about navy pieces and all the nope. In English, as you can see here. And okay, we have the hull that, yes, I knew. The side stringers, stern stringers, bolt, bulwarks, trams and stern, the stern, obviously, the keel, yes, stern post, false keel, high guard rails, and so on and so forth. The same thing in, in, in French also. Interesting. Multi-language uh, instructions. Deutsche. Italiano. Very good. Yeah, very good. The amount of pieces and quantity of it. And uh, I believe we have here a um, schematic also. Here we have um, a schematic with the actual size of the ship. As you can see, you can compare it and uh, visually go and check each piece and then you can measure it. Very cool. It's huge. You can really do this step by step. Here are you how you can assemble the mast, as you can see here. Some very, very good schematics. Now, we have here the, um, the pieces of the boat. With the tools, which, well, it's a nice touch. This applicator is very cool. Simple, but very cool. The sails and cloth and lin linen. Very good. Linen, yes. Wow. The hull. It's a pre cut, pre shaped, pre molded hull. Oh, which is um, good and um, it's a nice touch. It's a nice touch. Metal brassing pieces here. Look at these small pieces here. Then the anchors and several other small things. All the brassing. Oh, this is cool for detailing cockpits and. <laughs> oh, Jesus, what am I thinking? I'm talking about a ship. All this wood. And uh, balsa and the paints, which well, I can use the paints, but yes, I definitely use the paint, but I won't definitely use this horrific cheap brush. Oh my god, if you're going to place a brush like this on the boat. Don't do it. But okay, it's better than nothing. I'm not criticizing it, okay? So, very simple, very, very simple kit, which you can definitely check here how it turns out if decently built as you can see so um, I know it's not the usual stuff I do but um, I thought it was 
interesting to um, do a review on this. The um, Saint Elena, which, um, by the way, it was, um, and now it was uh, an English ship, uh, 135 uh, ton Schoener, Schoener Brig. And it was launched in August of 1814, uh, okay? Uh, by Wigram and Green at uh, Blackwall Yard. So it's uh, an English ship. Uh, it did uh, from uh, during 30 years, I think. 30 years, it did the West Indian route. It connected Britain with uh, its Indian East Indian colonies. Okay. Uh, it, it was used to uh, carry provisions. So, a very beautiful ship, small one. This is not the Katisark or a, those are other league kits. However, I found this one so cheap and so beautiful that I just uh, had to buy it. And uh, well, I don't regret that. Um, so guys, I hope you enjoyed this one. I know it's not a difficult, uh, the issues, uh, the kits that I usually bring, but this is a modeling channel, so um, I hope you enjoyed this one. Um, keep smiling, okay, and keep modeling. Always with the same old smile, and when you cannot do that, just try. Just try. See you soon, okay? God bless. Thank you for watching.